very, very appreciative of our fans. Um, that was a great night for them. They're unbelievable. But also extremely appreciative of my father and Iona to come play this game. He did not need to do it. He was trying to help out his son. Um, and that goes a long, long way with everybody when we, we can fill this thing up again. Um, so very grateful. Um, we made some big plays down the stretch. Jalen House did. Uh, Morris with a great pass out of the post uh, to Javante. We needed to rebound the ball better. Um, but I thought our, our guards made some really big plays down the stretch. So great win. I mean, sitting here at 11-0, and I thought we'd be improved. I didn't know if I thought we'd be sitting like this. Um, but it was, it was a great win because Iona's going to win a lot of games. You already mentioned the, the pass for Morris. I wanted to, he hasn't passed out of the double team a whole lot this year. He did at San Francisco for a big three late in the second half, and he did yeah. tonight on the You named it. Those are the two. I mean, those are the two, aren't <laughs> they? I, I think they are. I think they are. It was a great play. Um, I'm not sure what it put us up, but it was a big. Javante had a great dive to the basket. We thought they'd play zone. I didn't think they'd play as much zone as they did. Um, but we were we were doing a good job of reading kind of what they were giving us and being patient down the stretch. We tend to play a little bit fast at times. Um, but that was, I mean, it was just a great game. Iona fought back. I mean, that's a team that's going to win like 25 games. They're, they're terrific. It's the best Iona team he's had since he's been there for sure. You already mentioned that they played zone, and you guys kind of anticipated that a little bit, which is unique because they don't play much zone ever. He said yesterday he wasn't going to press. They pressed almost the whole game. He said Tuesday night Quinn wasn't going to play. He was out two more weeks, and you tweeted right away, I know he's playing now. Um, how much of the gamesmanship was still in in, in the opposing coach tonight that well, you expected? I would say being his son, I knew he'd play some zone because he hadn't played any. Um, and, you know, working for him, he always has his own in his back pocket. Um, when I was watching the Princeton game and he knew I was watching and he said that, I go, all right, they're playing. Those guys are playing. And uh, I called it there. So uh, that was intentional on his part. But I'll tell you what, like, Selinski's a, a, just an absolute warrior. Uh, so I think, I don't know if it was gamesmanship as much as he was intentionally messing with me because he knew I would sniff that one out. How did you your about grow and how from that experience? Uh, we, you know, we continue to grow. Um, I think you look at some of the wins that we've had, whether it's at SMU, um, at St. Mary's, San Francisco on a neutral court, and now this one. Uh, we got to learn from it. I think when you watch Iona, the way that they compete, you learn a lot because they are tough to the ball, offensive rebound. They never quit. Um, so we needed to keep our poise. It was a 17-point game when Josiah got that technical. Um, but you know what? It's hard, man, when you're playing in this building and you got that energy. It's as good of a home court as I've ever been a part of. Uh, but we can learn a lot. That, that's a program like San Fran and like St. Mary's, who has been where we want to be. So you got to learn from winning. Coach, could you just talk about the good minutes that KJ gave you when he came in and kind of helped build that double-digit lead? Terrific. Yeah, he, he, that was his best game of the year. Um, he had a little bit of a thumb deal. Wasn't sure um, how good he would be, but he had a bunch of family in town. He's like, I'm gutting it out, Coach. Um, so he was great. I thought Sebastian was great off the bench with the minutes he gave us. He played hard. Um, and then Donovan obviously continues to be good off the bench. So we need those guys. You know, we we, we got to be a versatile team. Every game is kind of a story in itself, and you never know what's going to happen, and everybody's got to be ready to go. And now that you've won this game, coaches against uh, their dads, uh, sons against their dads, coaching in Division One. is now it's a, what, uh, dads now 19 wins, and the, the sons two now. You got the second one. Well, the dads normally have better jobs. Um, but, you know, at the, at the end of the day, uh, I said all week, it's not about me. And it wasn't about me. You can't make it, especially with the, the non-conference that we've had. You know, I tell all of our players, don't make it about yourself. So I give them the game plan to the best of my ability. I try to help them out throughout the course of the week preparing as well as through the game. So it's not about beating my dad. Uh, I'm lucky that my dad would play here because we benefited. That's a nationally televised game. He did not need to play. That's 14,500. That, that's huge. So um, happy we won. I don't look at it like I beat him. I look at it like New Mexico beat Iowa. Coach, you said you have to learn from winning. I mean, you guys are undefeated right now. You're Prairie View next. And you guys hopped into conference play. And the Mountain West is pretty good this year. I mean, 
how do you start preparing for getting back? One day at a time. We'll get back. I mean, that was a war. We won't practice real long tomorrow, and we'll give them um, the game plan for prayer review. That's kind of what we look at, and it'll be great to get everybody away um, to their families for Christmas and then get them back to work. So, you know, I mean, the good part about these guys is they work hard, they love basketball, um, and they're growing as a team too. So uh, just we, we just evaluate this one and get back to work tomorrow. You know, prayer review is so close away. I mean, just – after such a, an emotional win tonight, I mean, how, how quickly can you set that reset button going into you know, practice tomorrow? Starting tomorrow. That's what we'll do. I mean, it's that's the tone um, from the top down is we, we don't get too high. We don't get too low. We are very, very appreciative of our fans. We're very appreciative that we were able to play on national TV against a great opponent. Um, but you move on. So uh, we'll, we'll clean up Iona and we'll go, go to work. Coach, everything that you've talked about, you know, from the atmosphere to just the way you guys played, I, I mean, you have a, you know, you kind of set out for when you're rebuilding a program, what you want it to look like. I mean, what does this say about the program rebuild that you've been talking about since day one? It's happening a lot faster than I thought. Um, year one's really hard. You got to, you got to see what you got. And um, I thought we did a really good job of building kind of what our foundational beliefs are going to be. We were able to return the right pieces. You know, retain them because that's not easy anymore. Um, and then add add some really good ones in the fall to go along with uh, or the spring. And then obviously with Donovan and Braden and Quentin. So um, we're lucky to have guys like Mash and KJ and House and Morris and Josiah. I mean, those guys are they're culture guys. Um, so obviously going from 303 in the net to top 20, pretty darn good. But uh, we're not gonna uh, you know we're not gonna embrace too much of it. We're just gonna move on. Coach, apparently during the broadcast, your son was saying some stuff. Um, he was sort of cheering on the logos. So what can you say about him? Just kind of his dad and his grandpa. Well, it's, it's when you, in this profession, get fired and you have to go to your family and tell them you're moving. And they have close friends. And they've lived there for eight years. And we love living in Minnesota. And you got to tell these kids they're moving. It's hard, really hard. So to have the beauty of Albuquerque is – Everyone goes to the games. Everyone you know, they like see you at the game. All your friends, everybody, and to be able to have your 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 kids, not just Jack, but Ava, Zoe, be a part of it, it's awesome. You know, because there's a lot of tears when you move, uh, a lot, and to see the joy and the smile on their faces is great. It's really rewarding as a father. Uh, he does need to know we are going to lose. Hopefully not soon. Uh, and he also needs to know that the. Student section trash talking can't carry over to uh, third grade basketball. We've had a couple issues there as well. <laughs> um, I hate to switch moves a little bit, but you guys, you guys won, so it doesn't really matter. But 14 offensive rebounds, 18 second chance points. Those, those numbers, I mean, 18 to 1 on second chance points total. Um, those numbers obviously can't be too happy. Is there something special they were doing? They were just crashing. They're big. I mean, they're big. That's a very big team. And we weren't hitting bodies. and. That was clearly why they got back into the game. Um, and we went small because we were trying to attack their zone. Um, but give them credit, that was more a relentlessness on them. And we just got to be a little bit more physical. There was, I mean, they did shoot three for 24 from three, so there were a lot of long rebounds. But for the most part, you think it was just their crashing. It wasn't just I think it was rebounds. long rebounds, not quick to the ball, you know, fatigued. I mean, I think, but I think Iona, that's what they do. Like, you know, when a shot goes up, they're going to crash. That's what they do. Time for one more coach. How much fun has this ride been, Coach? Uh, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Um, you know, it's, it's as I said before, like, the reason why I came here is the fans. Uh, I, you can just tell that the community cares about basketball. Um, they need to understand we're not we're probably not going to win the national championship. we got a chance. Um, but we just got to continue to build. And But the support that they give us, it's why players want to come here. And it's what it's you see it on national TV. We'll be texting our recruits tonight, telling them, "Did you see that?" Uh, it, it could be special, and it's it's been obviously fun. You know, to lose it sucks. So well, that was great. Go ahead. Two, 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 two more. Go ahead. Yeah. What did the crowd literally do tonight that impressed you? Uh, well, I just thought their energy, just from the start, getting here early, uh, creating that game day environment. They've got a great basketball IQ. They hate the refs. I've never seen fan base the so refs more in my life. Um, but it, it, again, like, if we want to get back to where we're trying to be, it will be because of them. 
Um, and if they continue to come to these games, the recruits see it, the players talk about it. Uh, that, that, that community motivation is big. A year ago, your guys was here. You guys lost. You dropped them off at the airport without dinner. Are you going to buy them dinner tonight? I don't know if he wants to go to dinner, but I'm supposed to take him to dinner. Um, I think it'll be, you got to give him a little grace period because he's not great right away after games. Um, but yeah, we'll get together. I mean, it, it's. It, it is great because when you live far away from all your family, it's great that they could all somewhat, a couple of them had some kids with illnesses and so on. But as I said before, I am extremely appreciative that he played this game. He did not need to do this. And you saw the community. They, they owe him a debt of gratitude, obviously, for playing it because not a lot of people want to do that. Uh, so really grateful. And uh, hopefully I can buy him a meal. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Everything was closed. <laughs> 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 <laughs>